Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be talking about the new DJI Mini 2. Well, it's not so new anymore. It came out about three months ago, but I recently took it on my trip to Dubai and I got some good test footage. Um, I wanted to test out the drone. It was small enough where I could fly it anywhere. And if security said anything, I would just say it's like a toy. So it, it pretty much is like a toy. Um, so I'm going to talk about a few points on the drone, uh, whether it is worth buying or not, and uh, whether you should be spending all that money on this drone. Um, also, you know, there's uh, there's going to be like the ease of use and stuff. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, here's the drone. This is the drone. Um, here, let me focus on the drone instead of my face. Here, this is the drone. Um, I, you can tell, as you can tell, it's small. Um, the camera, you can tell, you can see that it's really small. It says 4K on there. Um, let's go ahead and unbuckle this belt that's on there. Um, so just opening the drone, as you can see how the size of the drone pretty much stays, pretty much stays um, the same way. Um, it switches just a little. Um, well, you know, this doesn't matter because for storage and stuff, you're going to be looking at that size. Um, so this is the drone. This is also, I want to say this is my first drone. I've never bought a drone before this. So um, I was like, I have to have to have a drone. So you have to twice. So I bought this drone and so far um, I actually really like it because it's easy to fly. Let's look at the design of the uh, design of the camera. You can see that it says 4K on there. Uh, this one does shoot 4K video. Um, I saw some reviews on the last one. It doesn't, it didn't shoot 4K video. So this one is a little bit of an upgrade, a better camera. Um, I'm not sure if it's a better camera or maybe they just added the 4K feature on it. You know, it's something different. Um, so how about the fly more combo? It comes with three batteries and three batteries right here. And you can see that the three batteries are in here. This actually turns into sort of a, uh, come on man, come on EOSR. All right, so this actually turns into sort of a battery pack. Uh, you could see that there's a new, um, there's a micro USB and there is like how much charge you press the button tells you how much charge the batteries have um it's this is really cool because um i've actually used this a lot i actually use this more than the drone itself so i really like it um this is the controller um let me focus on the control this is the controller as you can see underneath the controller here are the joysticks um this is where you charge the controller it opens up right here and in here there is um places where you can plug in your phones as you can see there's the lightning port right here for your iphone um it also comes with the android wires um so that's the controller um i will be making okay come on EOSR. um so i will be making a another video on the drone like how it flies and everything uh there's some test footage i'm going to be showing you on the screen right now um another thing that i want to talk to you about is the ease of use uh the drone is really easy to use you just download the app um, connect it, uh, connect it to the controller and it shows the preview and it's not that hard. Honestly, if you ever, fl if you ever flew a drone, flown, flown a drone before, um, 
it's it's not not that hard uh i've i've have fly, flown flown yeah i have flown a drone like small ones uh, like those little toys i have piloted those drones um so it's not that hard it's pretty simple pretty easy to use um also what else was i going to talk about the reliability um it's pretty reliable um you you have you can make it go up you can open it make it go up within like five seconds i guess the more like 15 20 seconds um it comes with this nice little carrying case uh dji it says dji right here dji gives you that um it's a really easy drone and it's really reliable meaning that it gets your shot also it's i've heard and i've also experienced that that it's not really it's it's a small drone so it's not really wind, wind resistant um you can't really make it go up in high winds it's gonna like float around a little bit not too much but um i have tried to do that in like a high wind area and i got kind of nervous so i brought it down it's not really it like once you have it in the air you have a lot of confidence because you can tell like the drone stays where it is and you can see it if it gets like uh sometimes if you go too far it goes out of sight and it goes like sometimes it loses signal maybe that might be just depending on where you are um other than that i haven't really had any issues i heard the old one had a different sort of communication system where it lost signal a lot but this one um I watched the reviews and I've also experienced it, experienced it myself where it does not lose signal easily um, unless you're like too far. Um, I heard it can go like the range is like six miles but I would never take it too far. I would never take it that far where six miles is just too far but uh, yeah other than that it flies great um uh what other stuff that i wanted to talk about it so is it like a pro drone like can the footage be used in like a video that are you were using for advertisement um there's yes and no because if you're just like looking at a quick clip of the scene and you don't if you don't have a drone at all having this drone is not going to hurt you this is a cheaper drone it is a smaller camera sensor um so so the footage um i would say it's like less than a gopro um like more of a phone phone camera range um I have an iPhone XS Max, so I wouldn't really be able to compare it to the latest phones, but uh, it's kind of like a phone camera. It's not really a big camera. You can tell, you can tell the sensor, uh, you can tell the sensor wouldn't really be that big if the camera is that small. So it's not really too, it's not really like a, professional camera you can't really compare this to like a usr or, or you know other other cameras in the market so it is like a drone with that goes up and takes photos and video 4k video uh, you can tell by looking at the test footage on your screen it's it looks nice uh you could throw in some editing and stuff it looks a little bit too sharp for some for some clips um but other than that it is not a bad drone i i am not like mad about my purchase i'm glad i bought a drone and i'm glad i didn't spend too much money because honestly i don't really use this thing that much so maybe in the future if i really get a client that wants drone footage i might invest in a drone but other than that this does the job and yeah that's it um 
Thanks for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe.